Hello. And Happy New Year. Every so often things get left behind when you drive. It's kind of funky. And I was going to do this, you know, right on out on the beach. And because it's actually a really nice day for New England in January. But it's also windy as hell, so you wouldn't have been able to hear me. So anyway, what up? Happy New Year. Yeah, if you made res- resolutions, hope they're going well. Um, the only advice I would give is just if you're trying to stick with something, you know what? Just set little goals an hour at a time. Especially if you, you know, you're quitting smoking or you're trying to go without sugar or something like that. But that's kind of not what I'm here for. I'm here kind of had something curious go on last night when I was out driving New Year's. And I was in a pretty good spot because I was pretty fired up after my vid from last night. And I was... Yeah, I was in a pretty good spot. You know, go back and watch it. One of two things is going to happen. Either you're going to be fired up or you're going to think I'm a wackadoodle and want to unfriend me. I- I'm pretty good with either, so it's up to you. But anyway, I'm driving and I find myself just getting all kinds of compliments. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Dasha. Oh, that's oh, it's not even fruit, huh? And Christy's in the house. Nice to see ya. So anyway, I found myself, after about the fourth or fifth time it happened, like, getting all of these compliments from, like, 20-something young women, and they're like, Aw, thanks, Beth. Good to see you. And it's, like, the type of thing that I could give two shits about now, because I'm, like, old enough to be their dad but it was really it triggered something back from when I was in my 20s and you know I might remember it wrong and you know let's face it when I was in my 20s I was drunk a lot quite a lot and you know other than that that's where my confidence came from so having it sober is kind of a new and different thing and you kind of find yourself giving out this amazing different vibe which is kind of crazy but anyway i thought back to you know 20 years ago and that young dude who really was lacking would have killed for those compliments would have been so desperate for it and would do and say a lot of things to try to get those words said to him and it never really happened and I kind of you know worked my way to you know how many people we all know and I know, you know, I'm sure sometimes I still do it. That's okay. But how many times we're trying to do this or say that and trying to get validation from people who don't necessarily see us? And how much it completely wrecks our self-esteem and it triggers our own you know depressive issues that you know might already be there and makes us feel worse about ourselves than we need to how many times does that happen and if it doesn't happen to you specifically everybody knows somebody that rolls that way and That's the type of thing you can't really control 
how other people are going to perceive you or if they're even going to see you. And if you're really chasing a lot of the time, what ends up happening, and I know this from my own experience, that the people you attract when you're chasing, they're usually looking for something and it's not necessarily to bring out your best you. Putting it mildly. So, in the end, you've really got to figure out how to see it yourself. How to see how amazeballs you are within yourself. And then everything else is going to fall into place. And understand that if people don't necessarily see it, it's not personal. It took me a long time to learn that. Even as I was older, when I was working at the PD, it used to frustrate the shit out of me when I'd either say something to somebody or I'd compliment somebody, but it was like, oh, that's awesome, but I need to hear it from a cop because you know their value matters. And yes, their value does matter because they're people and... But that's not how it's supposed to work. You don't need the validation from anybody else, depending on, it doesn't matter, you know, status, relation. You know, if you're trying to get, you know, love from a parent that's incapable of doing it, all that stuff, it's, it has to start, the foundation has to start from within. And for me, learning that, and it's still a process, I'm not, I'm no expert. I have more good days now than bad days. And I'm kind of figuring more and more out, even as I'm talking. Thank you, Jesse. And you're even more worthy. Silly strangers not giving you compliments. They're blind. They're colorblind. And sometimes it's just it. It's just the equivalent of being colorblind at times. You know, some people just can't see your amazing greens and blues. For me, sometimes, you know, I'll tell you a funny colorblind story. I have trouble seeing color on top of color. Like, if my black wallet ends up on a black shelf, it's kind of the equivalent of me losing it in the street somewhere. You know, same thing. Aw, thank you, Catherine. That means a lot. And there was a time, a couple years ago, I think I was dog-sitting for my brother. And I was going back and forth between my house and his. And somewhere in between, I lost track of where my wallet was. Okay, I couldn't find it in his house. I run back to my apartment. I can't find it there. It's not there. I go back to my brother's house. I repeat this like three or four times. Now, it's like a 10-minute drive either way. So I've basically ruined an entire morning. Okay, it's not here. What was the last place I went? Where was the last place I went? Oh, I went to the, I went to the Cumberland Farms, which is a convenience store locally, if you don't know. And I'm like, all right, I'll go, I'll go by there. I'll ask them. And I go by there and they're like, no. And then I'm like, all right, let me call the local, I'll call the Westport police. Maybe somebody brought it and like, because people pick stuff up and bring it to the police station. So at this point, I'm doing all this stuff. I, I can't find, like, and it was on this shelf at, in my brother's living room that was black. It was like, right, I just, I couldn't see it. And that's the point. Sometimes as amazing as you are, Sometimes people are just not going to see it. They just can't. They have their own filters. They, you know, they're not as open to what's in front of them. And we got to learn to let that go. It's perfectly okay if they can't see your magic wallet on the same color shelf. And... I think if 20-something me 
realize that at the time and wasn't so desperate to be seen and was just okay with seeing himself. He would have been he would have given off a different kind of vibe and I think it would have opened him up to be seen by others. And you know, whether it would have worked out differently or not. It doesn't really matter because things work out the way they're supposed to. Beginning and end. Oh, good, thanks. I'm glad I'm not... I'm glad I'm making sense. Because sometimes when I go off the cuff, sometimes I do go off the reservation. But... I just feel like that that's important, especially as we're trying, you know, a lot of us were going through trying to make our changes to ourselves as the new year goes. And a lot of that sometimes comes... <laughs> You know what? I've got a pretty cool belly button that I get, you know, I, I have fun, I used to have fun playing with when I was a kid. And yes, Christy, we got to know our own beauty inside and out. And that's really all that matters. That's all that matters in the end. In the end, the ones that don't see you aren't the ones that are supposed to. We've got to be okay with that. The ones that are supposed to see you are going to see you in all your amazing colors. And they're going to see your bright light shining like... Shining like that sun that's in my eyes over here. Which is ironic, the song that I was playing when I pulled in was Blinded by the Light. Anyway, so that's kind of what was coming through for me today. Good, I'm glad that, I'm glad that helped you out, Catherine. Um, if this is something that, you know, really rings a bell and really something you want to work through some more and I can help out with that shoot me a message I'd love to you know chat with you and hear from you and you know and as I'm doing that you, you know you're helping me kind of continue to work through stuff as well and that's really what it's all about I'm not I'm just here kind of thinking my way through and, you know, what seems to be my answer for now works for me. If it connects with others, awesome sauce. If not, that's okay too. And thank you too, Catherine. Thank you for, thank you for your words. And thank you for hanging out and Jesse and Christy and... Everybody that popped in and out, you know, nice of you to spend a couple minutes on a holiday with me. And let me take a look at this, Susan. Yeah, synchronicity. I love that. I love, I love how it seems like it's resonating. And it's really such an important thing to... You know, keep talking about and keep working through. Love you too, Christy. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow if I can figure out something good to talk about. Happy New Year, Shannon. And that's basically all I got to say. I got to go and I gotta go do some writing and go and. Probably go sit in a coffee shop for a little while and look more important than I really am. It's all good. 
Anyway, have a wonderful new year. Hope you're having a great day. Get outside for a little bit if you're in the Northeast. It's really quite nice out, even with the wind. So, guys, have a great day. Thank you much. Much love. Take care.